Christians fear the message of the end time. There's a notion that some countries might not be affected or immediately impacted by the activities of the Antichrist. Hmm. There is nothing that can be further from the truth, and this is not consistent with the scriptures. The same reason people believe the United States will be the seat of the man of sin, and so people tend to scrutinize everything that comes out from the state. This was proven by the last election in the United States, where many believe they could stop the work of the devil through their votes. Very funny, right? Many believers will rather sit back, criticize, or write rather than seeking the knowledge of Christ. And as a result, fall for the deception of the devil because they are confused about what the scriptures actually says. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 4 reveals the woman did not understand God's instruction. So fell for the subtle serpent. God and the devil cannot operate at the same realm. But what the devil wants to do is to get many individuals to be conformed to his own level of operation. And unfortunately, many are. It takes the renewal of our minds to think like God. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. The knowledge of the world reveals who God is. Hence, the only way to understand God's plan for this dispensation and where we all stand as the end time approaches. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 to 11, the Amplified Bible says, And this, so that I may know him experientially, becoming more thoroughly acquainted with him, understanding the remarkable wonders of his person more completely, and in that same way experience the power of his resurrection, which overflows and is active in believers, and that I may share the fellowship of the suffering by being continually conformed inwardly into his likeness, even to his death, dying as he did, so that I may attain the resurrection that will rise, that will raise me from the dead. The reason the devil will not fight the message that we all have a part to play in the work of salvation, and the reason the teaching has gone so far that most believers do not even know what Christ has done for us. Romans 5, 8, Amplified Bible reveals, But God clearly shows and proves His own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Revelation 13, 8, also, Amplified Bible also reveals, All the inhabitants of the earth will fall down and worship Him, everyone whose name has not been written since the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb, who has been slain as a willing sacrifice. God wants everyone to make it to Him, and He knows man cannot measure up, having proven that to us in the dispensation of the law under Moses. The law selects, and many who were not originally Jews could not learn how to seek God because it took God having to start a generation or a nation through Abraham, and His obedience to risk all for a promise without substance meant God risked all also to put the whole program of salvation on the submission of Abraham to his, to this, to his strange plan. Now, this is because God already made the provision to redeem man back to himself before man was even created. The reason our redemption was total and complete before we even came into existence. You see, from the beginning of the biblical history, God promised victory through the Savior for sinful man, as stated in Genesis 3.15. But the last day will come like a thief to those who do not know our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3.10 And God will save everyone who awaits, who earnestly awaits His appearing, no matter where they are. During Jesus' last evening, with his disciples, he told them not to let their hearts be troubled because he was going away to prepare a place for them. He promised that he was going to come again. John 14, verse 1, Amplified also says, Do not let your heart be troubled, afraid, cowardly. Believe confidently in God and trust in Him. Have faith, hold on to it, rely on it, keep going and believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwellings, verse 2, for emphasis. 
If it were not so, I would have told you because I am going there to prepare a place for you. Jesus is the one who is faithful and true. He will come to rule and reign in righteousness irresistibly and indisputably in control. He is the king of kings and there is no area in which his authority is not final. Now, Jesus, the word of God, also became the lamb of God, the one who will come to judge as earned the right to judge because he accepted the right of God for the sins of the whole world went down into death and was raised again victoriously, the end time will see Jesus ruling the nations in truth and righteousness as King of kings and Lord of lords. God will not reveal his plan to the people of sin and it is the reason the Lord encoded the book of Revelation. The word revelation in Greek is the word apocalyptic. The literature of apocalyptic is full of symbols and imaginary that are intended to convey a message through symbolism. Therefore, the book of Revelation in the Bible is apocalyptic literature that is symbolic and requires both careful study and careful understanding. When you don't know him, when you don't know God, you will not, you will not, you will not believe his plan you will always doubt his plan for you and the reason most believers are afraid of his judgment for the last day believing they might not make it to heaven because they keep coming to god on their own account forgetting no one can ever measure up to the standard of god except through christ it is because of jesus we can come boldly and god expects us to come boldly to him through the mercy by the blood of jesus but you cannot walk into heaven with a life full of compromise from the standard of God. Self cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but a life in total surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. This is the story of the cross. So the story of the cross is to make preparation for man to be able to make it even in the end time. And that work has been completed on the cross of Calvary. And that's why Jesus Christ said, it is finished. My advice, seek to know Christ and the, and the fear of the end time will disappear like a vapor. Seek the knowledge of Christ and you will enjoy the rest of your days in the Savior's arm. I pray that the light of the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will enlighten your mind and destroy the work or stronghold of fear in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.